हेलो गाइस दिस इज चेतन वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस पी इंस्टीट्यूट सो आज की वीडियो में देखेंगे लेबल इनकोडिंग पाइथन के अंदर क्या होती है सो इन मशीन लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट वी यूजुअली डील विद डेटा सेट हैविंग डिफरेंट कैटेगोरिकल कॉलम हेयर वेयर सम कॉलम्स हैव देयर एलिमेंट्स इन द ऑर्डिनल वेरिएबल कैटेगरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ कॉलम इनकम हैविंग लेवल हैविंग Uh, elements as low, medium, or high. In this case, we can replace these elements with one, two, three, where one represents low, two me uh, medium, and three high. Through this type of encoding, we try to preserve the meaning of the element where high, higher weights are assigned to the element having higher priority. so label encoding is a technique that is used to convert categorical column into numerical ones so that they can be fitted by machine learning models which only take numerical data it is important pre processing step in machine learning project okay so i hope you have understood so example of uh, uh, lab label encoding is suppose we have a column height in some data set that has elements as tall medium or short to convert this categorical column into a numerical column we will apply label encoding to this column after applying label encoding the highest column is converted into numerical column having element 0 1 2 3 0 where zero label for tall one label for uh, medium and two is label for short height okay so example of label coding so here Uh, we are uh, we have three species okay so three species are iris setosa iris versicolor or iris verzinica so we are doing that particular thing again if you like to download the data you can download the data okay so we are uh, we are just downloading the data from the net itself or kegel itself so if you want to do so so species you want to see that species consists of this array and unique the number of unique uh, objects will be iris setosa that is color and virginica okay after applying label encoding with label encoder our categorical value will replace with the numerical value int <laughs> Okay, so from this program itself, we will do so. From sklearn, importing pre-processing, we are importing pre-processing, and in pre-processing, we have function, uh, sorry, class, uh, label encoder. So we will make label encoder as an object, and in this, we are using fit transform. Again, fit transform is a part of uh, that. it is like feature scaling again so what we are doing we are passing this particular column and uh, we are just passing particular column and what we are doing we are uniquely determine that so label coder are converted into init so again if we'll ask for unique species so it will converted into 0 1 okay so again there is limitation of label encoding what is limitation of uh, label encoding it converts the categorical data into numerical ones but it assigns a unique number starting from 0 to each class of data this may lead to the generation of priority issues during model training of data set a label with a higher high value may be considered to have high priority than a label having a low value so this will discriminate between these but here we are not discriminating we are just labeling it so it will machine learning will interpret it wrong there for example of label encoding an attribute having output classes mexico paris dubai on the label encoding this column lets mexico is replaced by 0 paris is replaced by 1 and dubai is replaced by 2 so with this it can interpret it that dubai has highest priority than mexico and paris while training the data but actually there is no such priority relation between these cities here so i hope you have understood till here if you have any doubt do comment thank you and have a good day